Give it up for Axbridge tonight. What an awesome setup we got here tonight. Uh, the last thing, QR codes. Everybody's got a QR code either by their feet, under the butt. Check it out, scan it. You'll let us know how you thought each date went for this, uh, for this evening. And that helps Toby and I rift or, you know, joke around and s with, with you guys, honestly. So we're good to go. Are you guys ready for your host? I said, are you guys ready for your host? Let's do it then. Then make some noise for your host of DNP Season 6. Toby Shamu! Walking with a pocket full of Benji's Catch I'm a 10 piece I look real good today I look DMP, real good what's today. up, what's up, what's up look, everybody? How we doing? I look real good Ooh, Sounds like y'all had a bad Valentine's Day I said, how we doing? I like it, I like it Sounds like there's a lot of single people in the building, right? I'm guessing, how was everyone's Valentine's Day? Did you have a good one? Oh, we got some relationships in the building, too, actually. Ooh, actually, I spot one right there. We got some DMP royalty in the building, everybody. Give it up for Maddie and Brandon. So this is what? This counts as a date. What is it, date number five? Date number five. Okay, going strong. We like that. We got big hopes for y'all. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> uh, I got my man Trig in the front row. Trig, how we doing, man? DMP royalty. How you feeling, man? I saw, I, saw, I saw some little spiciness, man. You, did, you didn't win the date, but you got the date, man. That's, love comes in many ways. I like that, man. That's dope. Uh, any other royalty in the building? No? No? All good. All good. We got a great show for you guys today. We have an amazing show, actually. Uh, it's my first time when we have a bi queen. That's going to be a great time. Right? Dating guys and girls tonight. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to see, uh, you know, a little battle of the sexes. Let's see who got it this time. Let's see who got it. Uh, where's, uh, where's Queen Marg's people at? Where's Queen Marg's people at? Up front. Ooh, I love it. Got here early. Nice. Listen, I can hear you from on stage. So if you hear something wild you didn't like, just, you know, come shout into my ear. Shout out. Let's, you know, we want to hear from you. Uh, where's uh, Valerie's people at? Valerie's people. Yeah. Got some folks in the middle. Nice. All right. She didn't come alone. <laughs> uh, that's good to hear. Uh, Aaron. Where's Aaron's people at? Y'all sound aggressively single over there. That's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. We love to hear from you. And uh, our last person, Wilson. Where's Wilson's people at? Dang. For all the dogs. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, we got four dates. We got a pack show for you guys. So, you know what? We're just going to get to it, all right? Let's get your queen up here. Let's have a good time. We're going to talk a little bit. We're going to let you get to know her before we start the dates, actually. I got to talk to her before the show. She described herself as a blooming onion. That's pretty cute. Let's see if we can get to, to, to some layers. Hey, Minneapolis. It's Marg, and I'm so excited to be your queen on tonight's episode of the Date Night Podcast. I myself am a self-proclaimed introverted extrovert that loves to dance the night away at a rave or stay home complete with sweatpants, a good binge-worthy show, a tasty snack, and an occasional puzzle. I've been told time and time again that there are plenty of fish in the sea, but what sea are we talking about? The Mediterranean? The Baltic? I'm here trying to find my person who can dive into their creative side, enjoys a slow morning at a coffee shop with a good book likes to stroll around farmers markets and go thrifting, enjoys live music, and of course, is emotionally in tune with themselves. I'm so excited to meet the lucky four dates tonight to see if I have a special connection with any of them. See you all soon. Everybody get it up for Queen Mark. <laughs> How you doing? What's up? Ooh, can I cannot hear you. Hold on. Wait. Hello. Hello. Ooh, there we go. Can you hear me now? I oh, I can hear myself. Good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's a little weird, right? <laughs> You'll get used to it. How you feeling today? I can't believe that I'm here. This is not on my bingo card of 2024, but here we are. Here we are. E excitement versus nervousness. Where would you put yourself on the scale? Um, my face is a little bit, you know, twitchy. So 50-50. 50-50, I like that. I'm leaning a little nervous, but don't worry. You'll, uh, you'll relax as the dates go on. Trust me, I've seen it before. Uh, a couple questions. We want to get to know you before sure. uh, 
you start here. What made you want to come on the show and how'd you hear about it? Um, well, Monday afternoon after work, I was scrolling through Instagram as one does and I saw an ad for the show and I was like, I'm just going to apply and be spontaneous. Nobody like will ever know who I am. I'm probably not even going to get a text back. I got a text back like 35 minutes later and they were like, hey, can we interview you this week to be on the show? And I was like, oh, this is like legit. Nice. Casting team hard at work. I like to hear that. Um, but so you did it spontaneously, but like, why did you say yes to the opportunity? Um, I feel like maybe not just me. I'm sure this is a commonality, but I feel like dating apps nowadays are really hard to like get to know somebody on a real personal level. Um, I feel like it's all very surface level. And so, um, you know, I've had my fair share of good dates, bad dates, and hopefully um, I'm here to find love in the wild. I like it. I like it. <laughs> You're all right about that, though, actually. I saw a documentary, I mean a TikTok, uh, about it. <laughs> yep, as one does. Yes, exactly. Uh, it was, I think it was Hinge and, like, Tinder were getting sued. Yeah. Because they were just gamifying the whole date thing I mean, to get honestly, people to spend money. Right. If and, you like, think about it, like, if nobody's finding love, then they're just going to keep on going on the app. So, like, it's like, hey, this is your most, like, preferred couple or match, and it's like, this is not my type at all, but okay. All right. But if you pay $5, you can see the real type, Amen. right? Like, that's how they do it. <laughs> uh, so, you are bisexual, which is really cool. How is, what's your experience been like uh, as far as dating? How, does, how do you think that's affected dating for you? Yeah, I feel like um, I kind of, kind of got into my groove um, about two years ago when I realized that I was raised in um, a pretty heteronormative community, and I think that um, once you figure out more about yourself, it's really empowering to come out and kind of realize where you want to be and who you want to meet. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's, it's been difficult because sexuality is so fluid. Um, it can be different one day compared to the other, and so um, I think the best way to go about it is just being open to all opportunities. I like that. Sounds like you grew up a lot of, around a lot of boring couples, and now you want to make it spicy for yourself. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, so I do want to go through a little build your partner here. Yeah. And we get to do both, which is fun. Um, so head to toe, looks and personality, build your, let's do woman first, build your ideal woman. I feel like this is like a toss up because stereotypically, everyone always has to be like, oh, well, who's the masculine, who's, who's feminine? It's like, I don't really care about that. I just want someone who's spunky. Um, I wouldn't, wouldn't care if they were shorter or taller than me. I think I'm, I'm honestly much more open to multiple different kinds of women than I am to men. I feel like I have more of like a, you know, a, a personalized type with men. So mm. um, does that answer your question? Yeah, I mean, a little bit, kind, kind of, of. A little bit, yeah. Uh, what about like her sense of style? Do you want oh, someone yeah. that's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me some style. Get rid of the Crocs and the flip-flops. Oh. Sorry, throwing shade. Effort. <laughs> I love effort. I love fun outfits. Um, I feel like someone's closet tells a lot about themselves. And yeah. so um, I don't really, I mean, sure, I'll go out in sweatpants for sure. But a little bit of style is definitely necessary. I like that. Cool. Um, do you know the difference between, like, Uptown and the North Loop? Oh, like, absolutely. have you been to both? Okay. Would you prefer, like, an Uptown girl or, like, a North Loop girl? Uptown girl. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, you got some cheers out here. We got some uptown people in the building, <laughs> and I think they're more likely to be, you know, adventurous, anyways. I listened to one of the episodes where you were like, "Uptown girls are like Zodiac witches, and North Loop girls are like." I guess I don't remember. 401k, raising eating. Barbies. <laughs> yeah, r running Thanksgiving morning, shit like that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I used to do that. That's why I moved. I'm, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on to guy. Build your, build your perfect man, head to toe, personality, and looks. I definitely would love to meet somebody who is um, more creative, um, really likes the arts as well as... Uh, you know, reading or going to farmer's markets. Like, I have dated people who are, um, like, athletes, I suppose, and I like athletes, too, but I really kind of want a softie. Like, I want a softie who really is in tune with their emotions and not, like, super, like, big and tough. Wow. Okay. You want a little artist man. I kind of like that. Um, but I did get to see, I read, I saw your bio, and you did say you didn't want a mama's boy. <laughs> But you wanted someone emotionally available. 
So okay. like, explain, <laughs> explain. We're all, we're all interested. Okay, so um, I feel like there's like different levels. Like if there's a mama's boy who's like, hey, I, you know, really care about you and I, you know, do nice things for her. And the mama's boy that I'm like trying to stay away from is like, hey, yeah, yeah, I'll come over like three times a week for dinner. Hey, um, can you tell me like what you think about this, out about this outfit? Like even after asking me, they'd rather take their mom's opinion. Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. You shouldn't be asking for your mom for outfit advice anyways. No. She used to dress us up like sailors and shit. So like, <laughs> no, like it's definitely not <laughs> fair. I understand a little more. Um, let's see here. Um... You do strike me as like an assertive person. Like you know what you want, and like has that affected your dating at all? Do you think it's been a turnoff for guys at all? Truthfully, I feel like I really didn't get into this assertiveness, like confidence that I have, um, until after my most recent breakup. I feel like that breakup really rocked me um, and proved to me what I did not want and who I wanted to be. Um, and so, I would definitely say that I've grown into. Um, you know, a more me version of myself. And that's what most excites me about going into my next relationship is, I don't want to say my next relationship is definitely like a guinea pig situation, but like I've, I've formed a lot of boundaries and I've done a lot of work. Shout out therapy. Um, <laughs> and so I'm here to, yeah, match with somebody who's on that same wavelength, like someone who really loves themselves and loves to be on their own, um, but also is ready to blend with my my life as well. Ah, I like your word choice there. Blend, not codependent. You know, Absolutely. You're, you're learning things. I like that. Good for you. Hope 2.0 version of you finds love today. Uh, I do have one more question because I have been watching Love is Blind. Oh, uh, <laughs> do you think you look like Megan Fox? N no. However, I was saying that somebody on Love is Blind, the newest season, looks like Megan Fox. I was actually watching it with my parents last weekend. <laughs> However, I have been told that I look like two other celebrities, and so I would love to see if the dates can pick it out. See if they can guess? Maybe. Ooh, I like that. little spiciness. You know what? I think we know you well enough. Let's get to the first date. You ready? Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Um, so your first date, she's 23. She's a very well-adjusted pharmacy student. Hi everyone, my name is Valerie and I am 24 years old. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois, um, but I moved out here a few years ago to attend grad school at the University of Minnesota. Um, and honestly, I love getting to know new people and making new connections. Um, I'm very passionate about my education and work and everything that I do and I want to share those passions with another person and have them share their passions with me. So I'm super excited uh, to talk to you tonight and get to know you. Let's see if this date is the right prescription. Everybody make it up. Get loud for Valerie. <laughs> Shaking her umbrella, and as the other way as they are sitting there, hellos, and I'm pretending not to see them, and instead I pour the milk. Hello, Valerie. Hi. Good to have you on. Suddenly, I don't know how to sit in a stool. I know. Do you cross your legs? Do you like man spread? Like, what's um, the right <laughs> on a stool? There's a lot of people watching me, so maybe not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how are you yeah. feeling? Oh, a little bit nervous, but... Can you say you've been on a speed dating podcast before? I have not. Me neither. Um, but I can check that off, I guess, after this. One of my friends said, hey, yeah. this is a great party trick. You can't say that you've, you know, been on a speed dating podcast before. Here we are. <laughs> um, so... They announced, apparently, that I'm a pharmacy student. Um, and so I do want to know what you do. And like, are you in school? Yeah, so I graduated in 2021, and I am a project manager. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I moved out here for grad school, actually. So Where are you from? Um, I'm originally from Chicago. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, and I, got, um, I went to Madison for undergrad, and now I'm here. So I've been like bouncing around the Midwest apparently getting colder which is fine <laughs> i don't mind hey this winter though i it's you know actually i avoided the worst of it because i was in vietnam for about two weeks this winter break oh. and it was absolutely amazing it was beautiful yeah i hear um, a lot about it yeah it was amazing so when i came back it the kind of the snow had melted and it was no longer that cold so i was like oh 
I guess I miss the winter, but. Oh. One of my friends and I were talking yeah. a few weeks ago about how we actually miss the snow. Like, I feel like Minnesotans can't just be like, oh yeah, I miss the snow. I love the cold. But like, I actually was thinking that a few weeks ago. Like, winters in Minnesota, I take for granted for sure because I like the snow. I do too. Like, it's pretty. I, like, I can't, yeah. Did, I know. Like, You're getting booed out here for liking <laughs> snow. <laughs> it's that like fresh blanket and it's sparkling and yeah. you're walking outside. And I'm just like, you cannot put me in a tropical place because I will melt away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you rather be hot or would you rather be cold? Cold. Because you could just put layers on Agree. and be comfy and have like a cute fireplace like date. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, can, I can be down with that. Okay. So I have a question. Yeah. However, I have multiple questions. I would love for you to pick oh, a question card. You came prepared. I did. I like that. I'll read it. Oh, you'll read it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tell me one thing that you're looking forward to. Oh, my God. Um, I have to pick one? Okay. So I'm in my third year of pharmacy school. Uh, this is my last year of didactics, Woo. and I will be going on rotation soon. Nice. So I'm so excited to, like, actually apply everything that I've learned. I love that patient care aspect. Like, I mean... Drugs are cool, and it's really fun learning about them. My favorite drug is Botox, by the way. Woo! Is that uh, a prescription? Is that a prescription yeah, drug, what? technically? Yes, it is. That'd be um, the favorite. Okay. That is. What about Ozempic? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I also work at a retail chain, and I'm going to refrain from commenting about <laughs> that specifically. Um, but, yeah, I'm so, so excited to, like, I don't know, graduate next year, have that little like doctor name. Mm -hmm. That's big. I know. Congrats. I know, but it's, it feels a little weird. I think somebody actually called me that and I was like, don't, not yet, not yet. Yeah. Just give me, give I me a little like bit. I feel like the transition between graduating yeah. and then, you know, like adult jobs, it's kind of like a whack in the face. I am like, a child Whoa. in scrubs. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's like I, you know, get dressed in my cute little get up and like drive 35 minutes to the office just to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> but also uh, do good work. I'm sure you do, and I'm sure you have amazing outfits. So I um, mentioned earlier that you had, we're looking for someone with like a really great sense of style, and I absolutely uh -huh. love your outfit. Thanks. I, I saw that when I walked in, and I was just like, she looks so cozy, but very fashionable at the same time. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer for fashion, you have to. Beauty uh, is pain. Mm -hmm. Valerie, I heard you're a really good cook. Oh, I do. I yes. love to cook. What meal do you think you would make for Mar? Oh, my God. Okay. Just don't make it spicy. <laughs> um, I do a really good stir fry. My friends in the crowd will know me as stir fry queen. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I love stir fry. Um, I have, like, a wok that my grandma gave me when I was younger, and I grew up, like, um, in, a, like, a Viet household, and I just grew up watching her cook and that's how learn I learn the best exactly yeah I can't make it the same I don't know why it just doesn't taste like how she makes it and I swear she'll like say a dash of this and I was like a dash how exactly like, yeah I was actually cooking dinner for my parents on Friday mm -hmm. and my parents were sitting at the counter just like watching me like pour my my ingredients and my dad goes oh that's where you get your measuring skills I just like, <laughs> dump stuff into a bowl yeah, but that's the best way. It's like with love, you know? Exactly. And I think like a cooking date is definitely one of the first like five dates I'll have with someone because you can tell a lot about a person mm -hmm. when you're trying to cook with them. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how would you feel if I like showed up ready with like a box of Kraft mac and cheese? Like this is what we're making. Well, we can go with it. I can make something with it. Like what? Oh, my God. I love making fried chicken, to be honest. <laughs> it's Queen. kind of... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't do it often because I like burned myself um, a few <laughs> few months ago doing it, but it's whatever, it's fine. Well, I just sliced my finger open last week. You so know, I think it's battle scars. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all can treat each other while you know cooking together. That sounds very beautiful. Um, so cooking second date, that's what it sounds like, right? Sounds good. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any questions for your date? No, me? Valerie. Oh, me. Yes, your turn. Can I pick one from here? Absolutely. <laughs> J 
Describe the perfect weekend with your partner. The perfect weekend would be sleeping in until like at least nine o'clock and waking up and going for a walk to get coffee. Um, I have a bunch of coffee shops like in and around my neighborhood and so I also love to go around the cities and find cute coffee shops because there's so many like you can go on Instagram and find a coffee shop to go to that afternoon. Um, so after coffee, walk back home, make a big breakfast at home um, and then maybe fill the afternoon if it's if it's summer like go to the lake or go to a farmer's market, go to a gallery, um, go to a park and just like read just like something super chill. I like to pack my weekends with like fun things to do since it's your one time a week to do something that you want to do. But at the end of the day, I really like something that's super casual, but also fun. So at the end of whatever adventure we're doing, we'll come home and or go out to dinner, but just get home by seven o'clock so we can be on the couch like watching a movie or something. Oh, 100%. And nine is kind of early. That's like, that's sleeping in. <laughs> well, if, if I wasn't on the record here, which I am on the record now, but it would probably be like 10 or 11. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, that sounds great. I value, like, quality time with a person more than, like, let's try to do this or let's try mm -hmm. to do that. I'm like, okay, what feels right right now? And if yeah. we're both in the mood to just grab a coffee and chill and come home and watch a movie, that sounds amazing to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So would you say that you're more of, like, a doer or a beer? And so, like, with that question, it's, like, a doer as in let's go and fill the weekend with a bunch of fun things that we want to do or just be like exist kind of just like vibe oh at you gotta ask me at like different times of the month <laughs> yeah yep, i'm, I'm like you. let's let's do like i like to have like one thing we're gonna do for the weekend right and then like around that is mm -hmm. is fill in with like quality time sure you yep. know totally. like i'm not trying to pack my day where i like to exert so much energy on the weekend because you mm -hmm. do so much like during the week totally yeah definitely time to relax and recharge for sure mm -hmm. which is what sundays are for 100%. speaking of relax and recharge the chat is yelling at me we need to know valerie what's your favorite ssri <laughs> um the way that i wrote like a care plan for sertraline is amazing <laughs> Um, cause it's for everybody. Yeah. Sertraline's the one? Yeah. Wow. I'm on But I, I'm more, <laughs> it's okay. I'm on one too. Hey, I think it's honestly a green flag if you are on an SSRI. And in therapy. So. Amen. Yes. It just become the battle of the antidepressants. Lexapro, <laughs> stand up. Prozac, stand up. <laughs> uh, Love I'm more that. of an SNRI girl, but that's for... That's a different conversation. Uh, inside <laughs> baseball. Mm. You either need dopamine or you need serotonin. Um, right? That's what a SNRI is? Uh, norepinephrine. No, that's yeah, a different yeah, yeah. drug. Sorry. Brain fart there. <laughs> um, yeah, did you, did you have a... Yeah. I do was, have a question for both of you. That was a follow-up to that one? That was very... No, we just needed to know. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I do want to ask you, ladies, you have about a minute left here. Uh, is there anything from your previous relationships that you guys have learned that you want to bring into your new relationships? Communication, for sure. 100%. I feel like when you started talking about um, setting boundaries and like becoming a new, like stepping into yourself as a person from your last relationship, that's basically what I got from my last one as well. It's just like, I felt like I compromised a lot of myself for that other person to try to make it mm -hmm. work yeah and in a way that i lost a piece of it and so, so i'm true. like yeah this is this is gonna be different like i don't need to compromise like who i am as a person and so i am just like really looking for someone to share like our passions together mm -hmm. like someone to support and someone to support me and like kind of i don't know kind of grow together can i share a metaphor or yeah maybe not a metaphor um, this is what I like to think of relationships as moving forward is I, I'm a cupcake. I'm a vanilla cupcake with vanilla frosting. And I want my next partner to be the rainbow sprinkles on top. Oh. Doesn't change the flavor and what the cupcake tastes like. Just, you know, maybe makes it a little bit better. Can I be a caramel drizzle? Is that okay? Heck yeah. <laughs> Ooh, spicy, spicy and sweet. We love it. Great way to end the date, ladies. Give it up for Mark. Give it up for Val. That was loud.
We are going to take a quick break. We'll be back with a couple of sponsors. We'll be back. What's up? What's up? What's up? We are back. We are back. Silence your little conversations. I got the queen back on stage here. We're going to chat a little bit before we get to date number two. Marg, hi. Hi. How do you think that went? That was good. It was good? You think it was a good first icebreaker date? It was a great first date, yes. I nice. think now I'm even more prepared for the other ones because I'm less nervous. Mm, I like that. I, do, I don't like to influence the, the queens and, or kings, but I asked her if she had any questions for you, and she pulled one of your cards. I think that was a red flag, personally. But I think... I don't want to call it a red flag. I think it's definitely scary to be... Like, look at all of the red floating out there. Like, this is kind of freaky. And to be honest, I'll give her props for coming up and meeting me. Um, because this is probably not for the week. Love a supportive queen. I like that. I like that. Well, you know what? We got four dates, so we have to get to going. You get know going. what I'm saying? Uh, the second date, I did miss his people. Where are Mitch's people at? Ooh, energy. I am sorry. My bad. Well, I got to... <laughs> I got to talk to this wonderful guy before the show. He's both a nurse and a rock star. Hello, everyone. My name is Mitch. I'm 27 years old. I've lived in Minnesota most of my life. I had a small stint in uh, California and Washington. But other than that, a uh, Midwest kind of guy. And uh, really love music, movies, adventure, hiking, skiing. I don't take life too seriously. I like to just have fun, laugh with my friends, take travel, take trips whenever we can. Just looking for someone to share that with. I've dated um, and speed dating, done the uh, online dating, the apps and everything, and just haven't found the right person yet. So just looking for that connection. And uh, I'm looking forward to meeting Mark. Maybe uh, that will be us. If not, uh, you know, at least this will be a good experience. So I uh, appreciate it and uh, looking forward to it. Let's see if this date is a hit. Everybody get loud for Mitch. Hello. How are you? I'm like. I'm amazing. How are you? I'm great. First thing to note right off the bat is your tattoos. Oh, thank you. You rolled your sleeves on purpose, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I, it's a little warm in here, but yeah. It honestly is. Uh, I do have Crocs, I feel like I have to tell you right now. I'm a nurse. I wear them to work. Okay, Pat. Like, okay. And there's no holes in them in case I drop a needle, it doesn't go on my toe. Are they like full of gibbets? They're Metallica. They're Ride the Lightning. They got lightning all over them. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said you were a rock star. Yeah, but you like music. I, I do. Saw. Yeah. Headbanger. Yes. Suck, suck me right in. I feel like my music taste is very versatile. Like, I truthfully think that, you know, your music taste really depends on, like, the mood. So, like, like, if you're chilling in, on your couch on a Friday night, like, what's the vibe you're listening to? Like, what, what kind of music are you listening to on a Friday night? So, I have my area, and I kind of stick to it, and that's 80s hair metal. But, uh. but I love, you know, heavy metal. I love uh, even Liana Lewis. Like, I like new stuff. Like, okay, okay. I used to have a One Direction phase. I kind of <laughs> went through it all. You obviously had a high school musical phase, too. Yes, I did. I uh, did that for the talent show. Yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> we, we, I, I'm a music. I did theater. I love... I, I, I did sports until I hit like third grade and then I went, this ain't me. I'm going to switch to theater and music and then here I am. I have tried out a lot of sports in my youth. Um, I, you know, tried a lot, uh, you know, sports with like physical balls, like basketball, mm -hmm. softball. I even tried gymnastics. I did all three of those too. No, you didn't. I did all three of those. I promise you. Indoor uh, soccer. Basketball and then uh, gymnastics. Did I say soccer? I said softball. Oops. Oh, I did softball too. Yeah, sorry. I, Versatile man. You know, the nerves, they kick in. Yeah, well, none of those sports worked out. I, I just became a runner. Okay. So I ran. I was good at running. Okay. It's hard to get me running because I just I love mo watching movies, listening. To, well, I, mean, I don't run anymore. Okay, okay. I tried that. It's like, hey, I'm feeling really you know, optimistic. I'm going to start training for a half marathon. I like 
once you quit running after such a long time, it's it's like ten times more difficult to like get back into it. Agreed. I don't know, just aging, you know. I went to Ecuador for nursing school and came back and ran for a few weeks. Ecuador. Lost a bunch of weight, w- felt great, and then just I will never run again. Yep. You know, like <laughs> once you lose it, you lose it. You do. Like, it's a, you know. yeah, expand on Ecuador, man. How was your experience? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I went, uh, did some uh, pop-up uh, clinics in the jungle, just had fun, just got my transcultural credit so I could uh, get my job, and now I got a great job with a bunch of great coworkers back there. Uh, love hey, shout out to my coworkers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, so, so you like music, you have your passions. What, what are you stuck doing nine to five during the week? Oh, well, I don't want to talk about it too much it's, because work does not describe who I am as a I person. I know. Same. I mean, but I, I'm there for them, not for the job, you know? Me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, if yeah. it wasn't for my my coworkers, I probably would have been gone by now. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't say that on, on here. But, well, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. you're project manager. Project manager. Yeah, okay. I, cool. uh, I help uh, yeah. pull together some nationwide trade shows. Cool. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you like yeah. see the fruition of your work? Do you like work through it and then you see it like come yeah, and you're yeah. like you feel so good about it? I actually have a client viewing tomorrow where I get to look at a brand new booth that I started, you know, creating back in November. Okay. You see your full circle little yeah, results. It's, it's a food trade show. Okay. So I get to like show products of like oatmeal and granola. Okay. Um, okay, boo, but you jobs, get, but jo- you jobs, boo. I'm sorry, tomato, tomato. We're changing. No, I, I, I actually want to know what you do because, like, I deal with insurances all day, so that but sounds pretty good. It's <laughs> such a great second date question. Not <laughs> no, I, I, don't worry about it. We're we're doing just fine over here. You got this? Um, yeah. Oh, we're doing just fine. I don't. I, we're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, all right, movies. Are you into movies? No. That's a terrible question because I do, I think I have undiagnosed ADHD, Me, so, so I don't do, remember movies. I have so. diagnosed ADHD. One step up. No, Adderall doesn't work. It just makes it worse. And you're prescribing medication. No, I'm a nurse. I don't prescribe. I, I refill. So we got a pharmacist. We have a nurse. What's next? Doctor. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're ready for the ego, though. I don't need ego, period. No, so. no. Huh. Okay, well, moving on. Question number one All right. that I have for you. Tell me three things that make you smile. Ooh, my friend. But don't make it cheesy. Okay. Be be creative. I'll I'll, I'll talk from the heart here. Um, that might be cheesy though. I mean, okay. my I'm, heart I'm is cheesy. For it. But uh, my friends, uh, traveling, and uh, singing. Ooh, a singer. You really are a rock star. No, no. no. <laughs> Air guitar band. No, no, I play. <laughs> I like to play the guitar. Yeah. Oh, you. So you actually can play the guitar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got it. That's awesome. I uh, grew up playing piano for like six <sighs> years to be a percussionist in high school. Like Two I, years requirement. Three actually. From However, I started playing piano in kindergarten, and I played I think through sixth grade, if I can remember correctly. So I could play the drums in junior high band. It's pretty rad. So My best friend's a drummer. I can't, well, I probably can't play, uh, you know, the trap set anymore, but I, I have the rhythm. Okay, six years of piano. Wow. I don't remember, though. I quit after two. Can do it. Quitter. Yeah. There it is. Mm. But then I switched to guitar, so here we are. Here you are. Uh, okay. Okay, but I've never been to a rave. Is that, is that an issue? Mm, as long as you're open to go to one, I think that, um, that counts. I just missed the Shrek rave, and I was super sad. Oh, did Shrek you go to that? Rave. No, I did not go to that. I heard Truth great me, things. I love it. It toured the country. What? <laughs> My friends in Iowa went. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, Shrek in Iowa, th- those kind of go. Yeah. Hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love going to raves. However, I think I've kind of slowed my game down a little bit over the last year. Um, I go to the big shows at the Armory, but I no longer will check out Skyway. I mean, sometimes, but... Never, never been. Never been to Skyway. There's a few theaters at Skyway. Shout out Skyway. I think okay. it's a great venue. I love the Armory. I just haven't been there yet. Mm-hmm. I got tickets to Judas Priest at the Armory soon. I don't know who that is. It's 80s metal band, but, so, okay. you know, Okay. it is what it is. Um, okay. Okay. How do you guys feel about kids? No. <laughs> no kids? No. At this current point in my life, it's, it's a no. 
Uh, it's a very, very firm yes for me. So I think this date might. Uh, I don't really know. Oh, don't look at me now. Where we go don't here? Don't look at me now. <laughs> All right. Um, left is that way. No, All right. Uh, well, you know, it's cool. You came from the country to the city. Is there shit you miss from the country that you can't do in the city now? Um, my parents, they live on a lake, and so I grew up on a lake. They still live on the same lake, and so um, me, my family, my siblings, some of my friends will pack onto my parents' pontoon and just have a day on the lake, and that's, like, the best thing. I don't think you can do that very often down here because, well, I don't have friends who live on lakes down here. Y yeah, you got to drive a little bit for, like, sometimes. But, right. okay, yeah, a day on the lake. All right, at least we agree there. Mm -hmm. Okay. When's the last time both of you cried? Last week. Probably yesterday. I don't know. I, I, I'm very in tune with my emotions. I love a crier. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I, yeah. Do you care to share why? Uh, did, should I say that I'm like a mama, mama's boy or something? I, you're uh, I, I'm really. confident in who I am and what I want and what I like. So I, I, if I want to cry, I'm going to freaking cry. Hey, man. You I don't got to explain it to me. You're the I one. You're know. dating her. <laughs> Sick. Well, you guys got about a minute left here. Okay. Any you, other class? Did you questions? ever answer the movie question? Do you like, are you passionate about that? Do you like mm. like a genre? Do you care about I, collecting? No. Okay. <laughs> I I collect streaming services. How about that? Okay. I, I I'm not a huge movie watcher. I mean, like I like movies if someone picks it out for me or if I like you know see an ad for it. But most of the time, I definitely am more of a series kind of person. TV. Yeah, okay. like Netflix series yeah, yeah, yeah. or Hulu or whatever. Like Hill House or some of that kind of stuff? Or no, I don't really like... Horror? Um, no. Okay. Like, I like I like crime. Like, um, if you ever heard of The Sinner or... I have. The Jessica Stranger. Biel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, I can sit I love, down on a Friday night yeah. and binge the whole series yeah. in one night yeah. with my sister. Like, we've done it multiple times. It's probably not a good thing that Embarrassing we do that, how much time but, you put into but it. But it's so good. It's so good. Yep. That's with me. Yeah. Stranger Things, I put in way too much time on that. Oh, I love Stranger well, Things, except the last two episodes were too scary. So I never, I haven't even finished oh the most recent gosh. season because I'm too scared to watch the last two episodes by myself. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. All right. Well, it's on the bucket list, but I feel like if I want to restart, I have to restart the whole season over. Highly, Beautiful. Highly well, encourage. We're done. Give it up for Mitch. Appreciate Give it. Up it. For Mark. What a date. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. What's up, everybody? We are back. We are back. Silence your little conversations. We got the queen on stage. Show some respect. <laughs> What's up, Mark? How are we doing? We're oh, here. We are here. Ooh, that's interesting answer. How did you, <laughs> how'd you, how'd you feel about date number two? Uh, we came. We saw. We listened. We left. Ooh. In it. In and out, no burgers. I like it. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. Um, you know what? I'm not going to give him any more time. We're, we got a long show today because we got four dates for you. We're only halfway. We're only halfway. Are you excited for your next two? I am. <laughs> nice. I'm excited for you. Uh, your next date is in the building. Uh, I like to describe her as a dive bar girly that's really into fashion. Maybe y'all can connect. Hi, my name is Erin. I'm 28 years old. I'm from a really small town in East Central Minnesota, but I've lived in Minneapolis for about 10 years now. I work for a public school here. I love getting dressed up and going out with my friends. I love sitting by a lake, but never jumping in. I love listening to music and planning my future DJ career. I'm so excited to meet you, Mark. I really hope we hit it off so we can rave into the sunset. Everyone make some noise for Aaron. <laughs> coming on your tattoos too i showed them off on purpose i should have okay so you have some. i have eight eight how old were you when you started getting tattoos 18 freshman year of finals week so you're a real tattoo girly sure i this is like i'm one year in okay but you have more in one year than i did in like in my how many years is that six I don't do math. <laughs> yeah, it's totally fair. I was like, I used to be very afraid of needles. 
and I got over it, and now I was like, I need a million tattoos. So now I you're started. Hooked. Yeah, absolutely, I'm hooked. Uh huh. I just it's like that buzzing noise, like the. It's like, give me some more. I'm kind of <laughs> okay. Most of my tattoos are hand poked. <gasps> I'm like an uptown girly in that, like I, I knew lo- it. I know your I necklace know. screams uptown. Uh, thank you. I was when you said uptown girly over North Loop girly, I was like, okay. This is real. <laughs> I take notes. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, I wanted to say that I really love your hair. Thanks. And so does my hairstylist. She's in the audience right now. So Thanks. <laughs> I like had to compliment That's a huge you. compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I box dye my hair. I don't. Shut up. I don't get um, my hair colored at at salons because I can do it. Maybe okay. I shouldn't say just as well because that's not true. But I do it on a budget for the tenth of the price. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. Thank you. You look great. I think there's a perk of being a brunette because if you like slather some color on, that's like, and I go like maybe a shade or two darker, you can't tell. No, it's perfect. Unless you like look super close at like my ends once it like grows out, then it's like, no, it's just an ombre. Just yeah. An ombre well, effect. you know, that's what, you know, I'm working the balayage. Yeah. You got to do it. Um, okay, so I noticed you chose an EDM song as your walk-up song. Yeah. I, like, really agonized over my walk-up song. I did not choose an EDM song, but I am a raver. Okay, okay. And and you did say that you're a Skyway raver. I started, well, I wouldn't say I started at Skyway, but, like, Skyway tickets are are cheaper, and there's more EDM artists that go through Skyway than there are at the Armory. The Armory have bigger artists, but not as often. What do you think about basement raves? Oh, I really want to go. Okay, okay. I love a basement rave. Where the heck do you go to a basement rave? You got to follow the local DJs, and then they say, like, DM for address, and then you show up. Aren't you scared? Like, what if you show up and it's like, not? I have definitely showed up alone to a basement rave before. It's a very welcoming Mm -hmm. environment, I will say. Plur. You know. Plur, yes. I should have worn some candy. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> but um, oh, that makes my heart so happy. Yeah, no, I think there are some great local DJs and some great local basement raves. One of my friends has been to a rave in a parking garage really? in the cities, and I'm like, where the heck? Like, yeah. Where do you do that? I want to score the next invite. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Ooh, is this second date plans already? Heck yeah. A little basement rave, little parking garage rave. All right, parking garage. Okay. I hope it's... Hey, I'm mean, actually, I was going to say I hope it's warmer outside, but it already is pretty warm. I know. So. I could do a rave in this. No problem. Let me put a fuzzy coat on. Where's that? All right, are you a dancer? Do you dance at raves? Um, I mean, like, like, like head bang, like hand movement, like shuffling around, but like sure. choreograph, like no, d- good. No no no, 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 me either. I just like field, field groove. Like I'm a, yeah. One of the best parts about raves is how the bass, like, like literally vibrates you. Like, I think that's so cool. Like it's spiritual. Maybe like you go home and you can still hear it actually. Oh, I think I have ears. like, like short term tinnitus, so. yeah. <laughs> it's which cool. Advocate for earplugs, everybody. Wear your earplugs. It's probably a good idea, always. I went to a rave at the Armory in 2021, and me and my three friends that I went with, we, like, walked out of the Armory, and we were like, shit, guys, like, (laughs) wait, like, are are we, like, are our ears wrecked? It was, like, kind of concerning. For, like, maybe an hour after, like, yeah. It's okay. You're still so young. Like, you've got years of ear damage left. (laughs) And then your phone's, like consider turning your your volume down it's like no no why would i hello (laughs) i'm having a good time do you think that there's going to be like a hearing loss epidemic amongst people our age someday you know i feel like the gen xers are truly our like test bunnies for that (laughs) like they were at weird ass rock shows like we're gonna find out weird ass rock shows weird ass yes no absolutely would you go to a rock show i would you know what I'd go to any show. Okay, I like that attitude. Yeah, except I uh, no. What's, I'm not gonna okay, go there. What's, Never mind. what's one kind of music though that you're like absolutely not? We're not oxing it. Hell no. I didn't want to talk about this tonight. I like specifically was like I don't want to talk about this. Would you rather go for a question card instead? Yeah. Or do we really want to get deep? You can't do that to us. Say it. Okay. Okay. I gotta know. It's not interesting. It's not unique. I hate Taylor Swift music. I hate it. I hate it. Girl. Girl. You just divided the room. (laughs) I 
just got on the hating Taylor Swift side of TikTok, so I am with you. Oh my God. Oh. Sorry, T Swift. We're sorry. We're not sorry. I love T Swift. I love what she stands for. But really, at the same time, it's like stand. Whoever said that is right. If you have that big of a platform, you should be using your voice. Right. You should be. You should so, be. So yeah, use your voice and not your private jet. Ooh, shots fired. Ooh. And that's what I'll say. Have you heard the joke that she like takes her dog on a walk on her jet? <laughs> I believe it. Like, is that a joke or is that real? I don't know, but if somebody told me that I could take a 13-minute flight, I'd be like, road trip. Exactly. Like, okay, if, if I had to pick between a 13-minute a flight and like a four-hour road trip, I, I think I'd pick the road trip. I think I would too. Thank yeah. you. Okay. All right, we're road tripping to our second date in a basement rave. I love it. I, I don't know where four hours out we can find the basement rave, but I'll we'll pack find snacks. it. Okay. I'm what a are snack you packing? Queen. What are you packing? Trader Joe's. No, That's just kidding. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You did say that. I do like a good Trader Joe's snack, but I would, okay, I got to have a, a sweet and a salty and then a good drink to like break them up. Yes. I think that's the correct way. So like puppy chow? Delicious. Or french fries. I know, they're the private turn cold, but my favorite food is french fries. Really? Weird. Do you have a favorite french fry spot? This is so controversial, but Culver's. Crinkle cut? I love them. They're mushy. They're so good. I also love a mushy fry. Yes! And we are like absolutely in the minority. Like <laughs> everybody I tell is like, no, a crispy fry. No. I want McDonald's. It's like, I'm sorry, I don't need a whole salt flat dumped on my fry. I need a mushy, delicious fry. <laughs> Waffle fries were right there. Waffle fries are like, are like right in the middle. Like, okay, if we had to rank like crinkle, waffle, and let's just say McDonald's, like of those three, what's best and what's worst? Like McDonald's, Culver's, and name another one. Who Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Okay. I don't have enough. I don't have enough Chick fil A experience. Neither do I. Okay. Mm. So obviously Chick fil A's last. Ab obviously. And we already know which one's first. Like a crinkle. All right, this is yeah, easy. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> we get along well. Exactly. And you know what? A McDonald's fry isn't bad if it's mushy. True. It just has to be hot. It just has to be hot. Hot and mushy. That's. <laughs> sounds like oatmeal, not <laughs> french fries. One of the worst things is going through the drive through at McDonald's and like like depending on if you're like coming home from a concert or you got the munchies if you go through the drive through and you get a hard cold french fry we're throwing hands no absolutely throwing hands after a long get day out. i will cry i will cry in the drive through are you the type of person though that would go back in and be like hey i need new fries or will you just be like you know what suck it up i'm going to eat them no i am i'm totally going to suck it up and eat it are you going to go in no no okay. No, I, I have worked in the food industry, like, you know, in high school, and we'll have girls come back in. I'll, I worked at a Dunn Brothers back <laughs> in the day. And, like, oh, there's just, you know, there's just too much chocolate syrup. But they've drank three-fourths of the cup. Did like, you give it to them? You have to. Do you have to? That's yeah. That's actually, no, that makes me really sad. I'm sorry you had to do that. No longer in the food industry, Woo! but shout out to everybody who does it because you are our saviors. For real. For real. Friends, for for real. real. Uh, we got about a minute and a half left, ladies. I have a question unless you guys have something you want to talk about. Up to you. Well, we got a question card or we have a Toby card. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about the Toby card. Yeah. Uh, I'm a fashion guy and y'all are both fashionistas. I was just wanted you two to rate each other's fits. Cause I know you went over the tattoos, but you didn't go over the fits. I love, first off, I love the monochrome. I like that a lot. I love monochrome. Um, I do like neutrals. I, I think I have a lot of neutrals in my closet because like it's easy to wear that to work. Um, but, but I do love color. Like I am so happy when I come home with like a pink turtleneck. Ah, oh, fun. I, I love the sweater. I love the sweater so much. It's not even mine. Really? No. You borrowed I, it. I found out that I was going to be on the podcast, and I'm like, hey, fashionable friend Ellen, can I borrow your sweater? It's important. Shout, Shout out, Ellen. Yes. Go, Ellen. <laughs> important to have fashionable friends. I just feel like I like look at my closet so many times a day that I'm like, you know what? I actually don't like any of this. Let's, let's start new. Do I have mm. time for one more question? You have it very quickly. Okay. Very if quickly. you were an action figure, what would your accessory be? Oh, that's really hard. Um, first thing that comes to mind is a taser lip gloss. 
Okay. I don't know why I thought that, but you know, you need personal protection when you're out there as a woman. Sure. I like that. Shout Stylish out. and ready to fight. That's really cool. Give it up for Mark. Give it up for Aaron. We're going to keep this train rolling. We're rolling right into the next date. We're going to let him hug it out for a second. Uh, we got an amazing fourth date for you. Are you ready for date number four? Let's get to it. Uh, your final date is 24. He's a former artist turned firefighter. That's a self-proclaimed plant daddy. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Wilson. I'm 24 years old, originally from Oakdale. Uh, now live in downtown Minneapolis. I bartend down here over in Nicolette Mall. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, though, I will be able to become a firefighter for the city. Um, some of my hobbies, I'm a big gym rat. Um, I love speakeasies, dive bars, breweries, um, going out to concerts with friends sometimes. Um, I love a good date at home, like painting, um, watching Marvel movies, my favorite thing in the world. I'm a big nerd for that. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you, Marg. Um, this is incredibly nerve wracking for me. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me and I hope we get a second date. <laughs> Everyone get loud, start cheering right now for Wilson. to know I got a Trader Joe's snack. Ooh. Man that listens. Ooh. Are those Trader Joe's flowers too? They are. Ooh. Okay. And, and for future reference, so I just got these, but what is your favorite flower? Tulips. Well, I'll know that for the second date. <laughs> Intention. I like the directiveness. I like the, the directness. Thank you. I'm very nervous, by the way. That's okay. Like I said before, coming up here in front of a huge crowd is like kind of ballsy. And I was telling my friends a little bit ago, wow, this is a lot of attention. I kind of like it. I don't know if I do or not. Just don't look. Just look at me. I like looking at you. Oh, thank you. You got a good smile. It looks good on you. Thank you. And that brings me into one of my first questions. Starting off strong. So I noticed you were, you mentioned that you're an energetic in introvert. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit of the same. Okay. What made you want to do this? Such a good question. I feel like to describe my, I, okay, so I, like you said, an extroverted introvert. I need to recharge at the end of the day by doing something like super chill like literally as if I'm like plugging myself into a wall just like vibe chill listen to music watching something whatever but like when I'm not doing that I'm like let's go let's rowdy like let's do it so yeah like I said I saw the ad for this and I was like nobody's gonna pick me it's fine and here we are I had the same thing I, di I, I, I didn't even I mean I went to Tyler's podcast a little bit ago. Okay. He didn't win, but great contestant, by the way. I watched your episode. Uh, but my, my, my friend, May, she signed me up for this, and I was like, I don't know if I want to do it, but then I looked through your profile, and I thought you were very beautiful. Your smile looks great, by the way. Thank you. And shout out May. Yeah, shout out May. But, so, so this isn't something I normally do. This isn't yeah, how did you agree to it if you were like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> bullied! I heard bullied! I might have been bullied into it. I might have been bullied into it. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I'm kind of getting, like, hot. <laughs> Lights are bright. There we go. All right. Question card? Question card. Or a Toby card. It looks like you're going to ask a question, but if not... I, I have one, but... You can draw a card first. I don't want to okay. ruin. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the energy. Draw a card. Okay. Well, we have a lot to choose from. I want okay. you to pick one. Let's see. Let's see. I like this one. Okay, I'll Do you read, read it? Or I'll I read, read it. it. I'll read it. You read it. Okay. What is something you think you excel at in relationships? Hmm. 
I think, let me think about this for a second. Sure. If you want me to answer first. Yeah, you go first. So <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I, I think that when I'm in a relationship, whoever I'm with knows exactly how I feel. Like, I think I'm very communicative. Um, if I like you, you're going to know. If something's upsetting me, you're also going to know. Like, I, I'm done beating around the bush, and we're adults, and we can talk like big kids. I like that. I wear my heart on my sleeve also. I think something I excel at in relationships is being in touch with my significant other's feelings. I don't like to push someone out. I like to, if there's an issue, let's figure it out. Let's be mature. Um, I also excel at great dates. Uh, I, I actually excel at great second dates. Oh, what are you planning? Uh, that's up to you if you pick me. Well, no, that's not up to me, though. If I pick you, I want to know what you... Well, then it is up to me. <laughs> okay, so fine. Okay, if, fine. If, if you pick me... If I pick you, what are we doing? <laughs> I like dating the, in, in the day. I like being active. I like, uh, yeah. I like things that aren't like... I like things that aren't so... Like, like something that like we can be active doing. Like mini golf. Yeah, Maybe yeah. let's go bowling at like a, a shit bowling alley. Let's have some fun. Like something that isn't too high pressure where... We like, can still talk, but yeah. still like see how we act doing activities. Together. Of course, yeah, okay. yeah. And like, a, like I said in my interview, like night dates are cool, but I feel like that puts too much pressure on the other person for like, what are we gonna do after? So like during the day, yes. I feel like it's a great thing to do because there isn't there isn't too much pressure on the significant uh, other to like. I respect oh, are, that. Are we gonna go home? Are we gonna go do this? Is yeah, that, like, yeah. If, if it goes good. Great. Maybe we can go grab something to eat after. Yeah, let's have a nightcap. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I feel Perfect. like yep. everybody, I mean, so if you're going on a date during the week, it's kind of tricky. You kind of have to go on like a dinner, drink something, something after work. Yeah. But like, I love to like get up and go and do something during the day. Yeah. Um, I love being outside in the sun. And so like, I don't know, anything outside, just like, I mean, yeah, just being during the daytime is the best because... Yeah, then, you know, let's say the day ends at, like, 2 o'clock. Well, what happens if we're, like, really vibing? Then we still have the many whole more day. hours. Exactly. The whole day. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What's the longest date that you've been on in a day? Like, how long? What's your longest date? Um, I'd say I used to live in Colorado, and I went on a camping day one time. So that lasted, like, okay, okay. a couple of days. But <laughs> Dang. Okay, you have me beat then. In Never the mind. <laughs> I would say, like, the longest like first date that I've been on lasted for like seven hours which what do you think about eight I mean depends on what we're doing <laughs> if it's a good time then sure sign me up for 10 there we go how about 12 maybe I mean you know if we end up together we're probably going to be sitting together longer than 12 hours so I like the sound of that <laughs> I got a question. How do you guys feel about pets? I heard you have some dogs. Man. Yeah, Is I got three true? dogs. I got three, three? girls. <gasps> yeah. What you got some bitches they're all... in the crib. Hey. Hey, hey now. Hey, they're good I'm sorry. girls. They're good I'm girls. Sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. I got, it was the comic in me. I got three beautiful Australian shepherds. I don't want to pick a favorite, but my favorite, her name's Brizzy. She sleeps with me every night. Cute. Well, when I'm at my parents, my parents have her. Okay, so you have three dogs, or how many dogs do you have at your place? Well, zero. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, then I have two dogs, but they're not mine. I am a proud dog, nie dog aunt and yeah. a dog sister. Yeah. I like that, it's fair. Yeah, would you want to get a dog, though? Yes, you want a dog? Yeah, what kind do you want? Um, I love the Australian Shepherds, but I've been really thinking of... Um, like a really tiny dog. I love a Pomeranian. Not, please don't ever say Chihuahua. No, I don't like Chihuahuas. I like Pomeranians. Them little cute. I love them. They're so fluffy. And you like ankle biters? No, we train it not to be an ankle biter. It'll be like an ankle licker? Maybe. Ankle kisser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. I 
grew up with smaller dogs. My first two dogs were small. And you didn't now, have one of those like all white, crusty eyed, you know? No, not the Maltese. No, <laughs> no, but like, yeah, please, please wipe the boogers out of your dog's eyes. Please, please, please if it's you like, have one. I'm sorry. It's like, they I have will boogers in their walk eyes up right to now. your dog and like pick them off myself because it's like, come on. It's gross. <laughs> Clean your dog. It's not good. Not good. I, um, I grew up though with poodle mixes. Like, I like poodle my mixes. parents have schnoodles, schnauzer poodles. Yeah. And they're just so sweet. When my mom went and looked for a dog, she looked up best dog for an apartment because they're like lazy. <laughs> okay. They're not lazy, but I do love like a poodle mix. I okay. Think. And I also like really don't love a shedding animal. However, I, I can manage depending on the animal. So you want one that's easy in an apartment? Well, I am kind of a clean freak. Like, I have a cleaning schedule of cleaning my apartment on Fridays. Like, okay. it's just like a habit that I have now. Like, I clean equals calm to me. So, yeah, if I have yeah. a clean car or a clean apartment, I'm like super, super chill and in a better in a better mood. Yeah, I I, I have a problem. I, I I love a clean apartment. Sometimes my car gets a little dirty because I like being very active, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of my car gets very dirty with like yeah, bottles right. of like. Water and like Gatorade protein shakes. Oh all the time. no! You're one of the bottle boys. No. Oh. What does that mean? Okay, I shouldn't say it's just for boys. Girls can have a lot of bottles in their car too. Yeah. Yep. But not relatively. Rel mainly speaking, I, I I am I like a clean space as well. Okay. Okay. How often are you cleaning? You say you live in an apartment. Mhm. Mm How often do you clean your apartment? Uh, every week. Yes. Okay. Top sheet or no sheet? What do you mean? Do you have a top sheet on your bed? Of course I do. How many pillows do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four. I got a long body one, and then I got two like aesthetic pillows. <laughs> you have more pillows than me. I have more pillows than you. Red flag. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I love I this. You guys got like 20 seconds left. Okay. Look in each other's eyes. I wish we had more. Questions. Well, if we're really going to go for the 12-hour thing, we, we got like 11 hours and 50 minutes. We can make it happen. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know if I have any last questions for you, but I love talking to you. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. This was a great time. This is something I had never done, but you made me feel calm. Now you can tell your friends when you go to a party that you were on a speed dating podcast. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> they did it. Yay. Yay. Give it up for Wilson. Give it up for Mark. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back. We back. We back. Get your headphones on. Get your headphones on. Get your headphones on. It's decision time. The spiciest moment of the night. My favorite moment of the night. We're up here. Let's let you know how it goes. Uh, we're just going to run through all the dates quick. We'll have Mark say something about all the dates here. Uh, since there's four of them, we're going to eliminate two. And then she's going to pick between the last two. So, um, just kind of starting off here. I just want you to go through all four lovely dates here. Say something nice or not nice. It's your choice. Well, um, thank you all four of you for coming on tonight. I think it was such a great experience to be up here and meeting people in the wild. I thoroughly enjoyed all of the dates. I think I learned a lot from all four of you. Um, yeah, which one? I mean, should we go down the well, line? Yeah, we can start with Valerie here. Valerie. That was a great date. I think it was like such a great kickoff to the night. Um, I really liked getting to know you. It sounds like you and I are super similar in the sense that we both really like chill chill feels and i really like that about you thanks mitch is next mitch thank you so much for coming up here thank you <laughs> i do kind of get your body language that you're not like super pleased to be up here but i will that's, that's not that's not what i'm trying to convey oh, 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 oh talk on the mic i apologize that's not what i'm trying to convey okay yeah um yeah i just kind of felt like you and i didn't really blend very well um but oil and water say what like we almost blended but then like it just didn't work a little bit there's a few things that we don't line up on and um yeah there were a few That's things that the beauty of life right of course thank you thank you I, seriously thank you Aaron. 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 that was so fun 
I love the uptown girl vibe. Um, definitely, definitely piqued my interest about the basement raves. Those are like really up there at the list. So um, we should go. We should go. Yeah, Wilson. Wilson. I Hi, Mark. love your gift that you brought me. That was so sweet. Thank you. I can tell that you were taking notes on the outside, which means a lot to me. Um, I love your eye contact. I will say that right off the bat. I love the eye contact. I feel like you and I were the only people up here, um, and so that meant a lot to me. You have very pretty eyes. Thank you. You're like piling on the compliments, which, by the way, words of affirmation is like my number one love language, so like I'm kind of feeling it feeling up but yeah I it's just great I think all of you are such great people um, and yeah I, I love all of the personality that you brought up here oh I love your positivity you know some people would say words of affirmation is a red flag but yeah you know what he used it well man Wilson's a smooth guy man I like you <laughs> thank you uh, but it's not up to me the choice is yours so now's the time you do have to eliminate two people hmm well, I mean, I kind of have the answer. The two that come to mind right away to keep are Wilson and Aaron. You two are great. I loved meeting both of you. And, you know, I feel like this is life. And I'm thankful that you were part of it for tonight. Val, Mitch, any responses? I, oh. I took yours. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, I was listening to Aaron's date, and I was like, this is it. This is for you. I, 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 okay. I'm like, I got on the girls' girl side of TikTok, and I was like, our first date went well, but I also want us to find people that we match with even better. So I'm so happy that you chose these two. <laughs> Lovely. Girls supporting Thank girls. You. We love that. Queens. Mitch, you got anything to say? Just... I hope you're, you find happiness. Uh, you seem like a cool gal. Thank you. Short and sweet. Give it up for them. Clap them off stage. Clap them off stage. Oh, 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 oh. Ladies first. Thank you both so much. Slide down, folks. Slide on down. So, uh, when we're at the final two, I always like to ask, I like to open the door to you two, Wilson, Aaron. Do you have anything to say to maybe sway the vote before we get our final decision here? You start. That is not what I wanted you to say. <laughs> um, I think you're really wonderful. That's all, I, that's all I have. Thank you. I was really nervous before I came on here. I think we're really connected. Um, I'm looking forward for our second date. Hey, Brennan, you got to get credit for that, man. That was the originator. I love it, though. Uh, <laughs> okay. You ready, Mark? No. You're not ready? No. You want a drum roll? No. You want a chance? You want some peer pressure? No. Well, no, I, do it. I am having a pretty hard time deciding between both of you, I think. Um, I kind of have been thinking over like the last two minutes that like I kind of have to decide long term um, in terms of like do I want to try something new or um, I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this I'd feel like there's either a ballsy move or a um, I don't want to say comfortable move but uh, I'm struggling I'll be honest and so um, I know that the rules of the show is that you have to pick one and I don't know if that's not a rule, but if I have to pick, pick one, then I have to do that. You could pick both if you wanted to, but they still have to say yes. Correct. <laughs> so here, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This could be a deciding factor for both of you, and you can give me an answer back, but I 
we'll put it out there. I can't, I can't go on a date until the second week of March. I'm going to Spain next week. So if you're able to stick around for two weeks until I'm back and you plan the date and win me out, then I want to go on a date with both of you. I'll wait till April. I will wait for next time. I would also wait until the first week of March. Is that what you said? First week second week. Second, I would wait till the second week of March. For sure. I really want to go to a basement rave, and I really want to go and have an outside date. <laughs> so that's why I'm so torn. And I, you know, like someone said at the beginning of the show, it's your show. So with that being said, I want to ask both of you on a date. <laughs> if you are willing, obviously at separate times. Unless, you know, you guys want to, you know, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I would absolutely go on a second date with you. Well, I would love to go on a second date with you. <laughs> Beautiful. That's the show, folks. She picked both. It happens sometimes. Thank you all so much for coming out. We're going to be back next week. Oh, Friday. Ooh, we're on a Friday, baby. It's going to be lit in here. Is it March 1st? March 1st is the date. March 1st, we're going to be back in Axbridge. Season finale, guys. Don't want to miss it. Thank you all for coming out. We love you. Good night.